At the heart of each ModuFlow package is something called the base plate manifold. It has multiple ports around it. These four ports on this side are all common. This is where the fluid outlet connects underneath. And then you have the gauge port, the blowout disc port, which says IND for indicator, the system fill, which takes a check valve, and then the lube outlet, which also takes a check valve. The single acting port, or SA port, that's where you put the air solenoid on most systems. On the front is the DA port, or the dual acting port. On single acting systems, this is really just a vent, and you can see the yellow plug that comes with most of them will plug in there, and it allows the backside of the air cylinder to vent to atmosphere. In a dual acting system, and again in the Trabon terms, dual acting referred to the action of the air motor, not the lube piston. So the air motor would get connected on both ports using a four-way air solenoid instead of a three-way. That would give you the dual acting option. The other port that I didn't cover earlier is the actual inlet. This is where the grease comes down into this place with the flapper valve. So the grease is going to come in the top of this manifold and then just go straight through into the pump. And then when it comes back up out of the pump is when it gets split into these four different common ports. I want to look at the blowout indicators specifically for a few minutes. In here, there is a yellow disc. The yellow blowout disc is for oil. This is what ships with every one of the manifolds. In fact, we even include a little envelope with extra yellow blowout discs for your customer to use as spares because these are your safety relief device. If you have overpressure, you want your disc to blow before your tubing or whatever else is the weakest point of the system would blow out and potentially harm someone. So we include these yellow blowout discs, but again, they're just for oil. That's great if you're building an oil system like this one with the oil tank, but a system such as this for grease needs discs that are rated for higher pressure. The red blowout discs would be the next step up. The orange blowout discs are the step up after that. So if you're building a system for grease, make sure that you take this guy apart, get that yellow disc out of there, and replace it with either a red one or an orange one, depending on the, the needs of your system. They just sandwich in here between the two pieces of the fitting. This is the standard blowout where it just has a flush face and there's nothing to connect to it. It's just going to squirt out to the atmosphere whenever, the, whenever it overpressures. This is the tubed blowout. So you'll see here there's a, there's a threaded spud that allows you to connect to a piece of tubing whether, you, whether you're using our blowout assembly or if you just want to connect to some system of your own with a pressure switch or some other remote mounted relief line, that's what the tubed blowout option is for. This manifold is available with different thread options. The most common manifold, what's used 99% of the time, is the one with NPSF thread, what we refer to as the NPT manifold, because NPSF female thread will accept NPT male fittings. Part number 563324 is that manifold. That is kind of the default where almost every system you build is going to want NPT threads. So you're going to use that manifold most of the time. Again, it'll come with the, the blowout assembly and it's going to have yellow discs in there. We also offer an SAE thread and there's a BSPP thread, which is actually what I'm holding. It has BSPP etched right here. We don't publish the part number for this and we do that on purpose because originally Trayvon released these manifolds with only one thread option when everything was NPSF to use with NPT fittings. So they used the abbreviation BSP in the model code to refer to the base plate. So BSP wasn't a thread spec, it was an abbreviation for base plate. Well then later on when they added multiple threads, they would use BSPP to designate that they want the British thread. 
and then it'll either say NPT or SAE for the other ones. But because these systems last so long, we still semi-regularly get requests where people will send in a model code from an old assembly where it says BSP and they wanna know what the part number is for the BSPP manifold. Well, really the only place that uses these BSPP manifolds regularly in the US is Detroit because the automotive industry likes BSPP thread. The other place you might see this is if someone is building a system to be exported to Europe, or if you happen to be watching this in Europe, you, have, you may have a customer that wants BSPP thread as well. But we always push back. If you call in and ask us for the part number for the BSPP manifold, we're gonna ask you if you've checked with your customer and confirmed what thread they want. Because chances are your customer still wants NPT thread, just because 99% of the time that's what it is, and it's the, the BSP is just there as part of the old code from before the times when multiple thread options were available. One other option for the base plate manifold is to get a wall mount manifold. The whole reason wall mount manifolds are offered is because the AL and HL series of pumps actually predate the Moduflow family. If you look at the name of the AL and HL pumps now, they all end with an M, such as ALS25M. The M is for Moduflow. You'll run into some really old ones from the 70s and sometime around then where they'll have, maybe it'll say ALS25C or HLJ5B or something like that where it has that B or C at the end, that something besides the M. And those were actually wall mounted and then the reservoir was mounted above them with uh, a threaded port on the bottom so you could gravity feed into the wall mounted pump below it. And we even have one of these on a machine out in our factory still here. But every so often people will send in pictures of these old systems where it has an AL or an HL pump on it, but it's not Moduflow because it doesn't mount right to the reservoir. Anyway, that's what this is for. This is the wall mount manifold. You can see on the regular reservoir mounted manifold that there's the hole right there for the grease to come in the top. On, on the wall mount, there is no hole there. The lube inlet is actually here where the gauge port is on other units. So there is no option for a gauge on here and the, the port is actually larger. It's a 3 8 thread instead of a quarter inch. This is a 563-323 or a 563-330. The only difference would be the blowout fitting. I talked about blowout fittings already a little bit, so I'm just gonna mention the 563-323 just comes with the standard blowout with the flush end, and the 563-330 comes with the tubed blowout. So it has that threaded spud, so you can run your blowout line somewhere remotely. But that's the only time you're really gonna use one of these wall-mounted versions, is if you're replacing an old pump. Even if you have an old pump set up that has the wall mount, it would still be a good idea to transition that application to the modular setup with the, you know, with the uh, pump directly mounted to the reservoir, just because then that way it gets it into the modern way of doing things and modernizes the system. But if you need a wall mounted base plate manifold, that's all it is. You just, you lose the opportunity to have the gauge for the outlet pressure on it, but then you gain the ability to remotely mount the pump away from the reservoir.